I just, I was in here just a second ago and had one of these black olives. And oh my gosh, I promise you, it was absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I have these olives here. There's oil. Look how lovely that is. I have no idea what or what. Mm. I'll get my mask off. Mmm. Mmm. So good. All around Ivalik and whatnot, the tractors like this one right over here are running around, hauling stuff around, and and I'm sure these are not, like, maybe those are things of olives. I guess I don't know. Those are big bags, man. They are. This is, this is all from families, families of uh, olive uh, gardens. Yep. They've been collected here and it's been processed here. So each bag is full of olives? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow! Just, I'm going to sneak a peek over here so you can see. All of the trees that you see in the background, not those pines in the front, but everything you see in the background, all of those are olive trees. It is so densely populated with olive trees. Just unbelievable. Look at those piles of olives right there. Gosh, this is awesome. Every, every uh, family and their uh, olive gardens they have their own number. So it would never mix up. So everyone knows their product. Wow. 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 The aroma here, I wish you could smell it. It is when we first drove up and you could smell all the olive oil. Oh my gosh. It was just incredible. It smells like health. <laughs> health, health. Yeah, oh yeah, it totally does. I've eaten so many olive oils here. Olives here. Got oil too. Okay, a leaf separator. That's what this is. That's separating the leaves and the olives and washing them. Everyone has their turn, so it comes here when it's their turn, and they squish him, squish, squish him mm -hmm. here, right here. So everyone has okay. their turn. It was never mixed up. my best to explain things. So he's telling us it's separating right now, the olives and the leaves and washing the olives. 
Evet, anladım. Ah, they blow them off. I see. Okay, so, so what's happening, uh, let me just explain this again. So, way over here, we bring in raw, oh, no. hi, hi. We bring in raw olives, and, they, and then they get separated from the leaves, and they get cleaned, and then it comes into this machine, which is a screw press, and, it, and also a crusher, and it crushes the entire olive, the pit, everything, and then that gets then um, fed through the screw press, and probably some filtration happening, I would bet. But at that point, because then they're sending it through the pipe. So it's got to be on oil at this point. And then it comes underground up through here. Get um, another filtration process done in this large machine. And then the final filtration, it just comes down through this, this uh, metal grate. That's your final filtration. And you can see it dripping down in there. Just pure and clean. Uh, beautiful. Come with that. The oil goes through from here. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Are you going to take that aerial? That's one more filter. I bet. This is a centrifugal filter, huh? I'll bet anything on it. So, my guess is absolutely. This is a centrifugal filter, so it's using some. 
rotation internally in there to, uh, to create the filtration. You got your, your waste coming out this side, and you got this beautiful, beautiful, clean olive oil right here. Oh my God, no. No, okay folks, here's the moment of truth. Uh, you when I first put it up in my face the smell barely a little bit has gotten on my tongue and it is unfreaking believable oh my god Other stuff that, that they use to they use as uh, yeah you you can see it right down here. So this is a the the large mass that they filter off in that first part, and they turn that into a coal. They probably press it down and burn it. And uh, now that's a new way of doing things. This is the old way. This is the way that I saw in Jerusalem. The, we saw a big big old one of these in Jerusalem. This is the old style. Buraya çıkarıyor. Burada da kavataca. Ben yaptım çocukken. Kavataca. Eskiden ama bu böyle değil de bu torba. Torba bağlıyor. Torba bağlıyor. Ondan sonra pastaya geliyor. Bak burada pastaya geliyor. He worked when he was young in olive oil factory. He says they worked with the machines like this. That, okay. that rocks old style. Just like. And then they filtered with these on there, huh? Yeah. So they packed these these full of whatever yeah. came out of this yeah. and then yeah. that goes over onto there yeah. uh, uh, that. That's what I thought they were doing. That's exactly what they were doing. 
got the first one with the stones, it's crushing the olive and crushing the seed. And then you've got the, these uh, filters that they put them in, this press filter, and they put them in to, uh, to get the rest out. Incredible. This is a hard way to see this plant. How long, how long does it take when they stack them? All of a sudden, they stack Will you please have taken the, the process of squishing? It's about one hour, but then they let it stand for 14 hours. And it just stands, there's no pressure? It's just standing? There, no, there is pressure on the top. There was a rock. Oh, okay. Oh, there's our press right here. Okay. Oh, I got it. PSI? 4500 PSI. Maybe, maybe not. No, boy, I'll tell you, they can get a lot of pressure with it. With that. So these are big compressors. I bet producing compressor. Pressure air. is 7,000 pounds. 7,000 pounds. Wow. That's gotta be. I'm gonna let them. Um, so these first they so so what I understand I'll just say real quick I'm pretty sure those are wash tanks and then there was a drain in the floor for the oil to go in and I suspect that they'd, they'd then pump it up into these um, vessels here for holding it. Um, and those are the stone wheels that you saw turning on the video. In the old days, they'd just use a, they'd use animals to, uh, to do that stone, uh, to turn those stones. Oh, so beautiful. Chok Guzel. Chok Guzel means very beautiful. Chok is very, and Guzel is much, very, uh, that kind of a thing. I think, and uh, Guzel is beautiful. Merhaba. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I dig this kind of thing so much. Um, for me, this just ignites everything in me, right? Here we're getting something from the trees and we take it and, and then we put it through a process that is simple and yet really well freaking thought out all at the same time. Look at these really super ripes. Mm. And each farmer comes and presses their own oil. I, I have no idea how they end up selling that. That's a whole nother story. Wow. Look at that. Look at those. Look at the color in that. Just look at that. How beautiful is that? So beautiful. What was this? The cans? Yeah. Ah. The... So let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, 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 oh! This is they're uh, they're processing olives here, so not not into. So this is for processing the olives into um, edible olives, not olive oil. I see, I see. Look at this. There's your packaging machine. There's your packaging. Merhaba. Yeah. Oh, another filtration. Beautiful. All your packing, your brine probably comes down through this way, the waters. 
you can see this is yeah they're not running in here right now so it's kind of hard to see exactly what each piece of equipment does i'm sure if i took my time in here we could figure it out but this is definitely a leaf separator and washer mm. Mm -mm. Mm. 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 wonderful wonderful look at all the olives all the smokes all the olives Ooh. these ones they only make i think these are them that they only make here um in this area and they, they don't fall from the tree they have to pick them off the tree they get really really ripe and kind of overripe and i think it's in the fall or something that they pick those and um, they got a really different sort of flavor at first i thought it was rotten um but um our friends here really love them and as i ate a few more i i began to um understand why there's just super super interesting flavors and um and they're just really delicate and it's the only place in the world that they make that kind of olive is here and in, in uh interesting they're separating olives by size this is a size separator why this one's pulling these guys out. I guess those are bad. Oh, the people are. Oh, I see. I'm the one. Look at on the tree and how much sun and things like that hit it so this is being done by light somehow i'm sure they've got some uh, system in there that separates based on uh, on light and then you get the uh the other coming too and these folks are picking out anything that didn't get picked out before down the line this pile right here. So this is, they discard theirs. I'm not sure. I haven't seen them where they're discarding, but they're, they're ultimately coming down here, maybe in the middle. And uh, you can see, yeah, they don't look good. They'd probably be fine for things, but then you got your different sizes, all that size separation. So interesting. I have no idea. I always thought it was just, I just don't know what I knew it. Okay. I'm, I understand. Yes, I'm with them. I understand. Well, isn't that just fascinating? Here? Our little guys down here. Man, this thing moves fast. Let's see. Uh, I bet what they're doing here, those rubber those green rubber things are being pulled away from each other like this so down there they're further apart and down here they're closer together and then as it goes by the brush the brush either is able to push it through the tension of the of the rubber or it's not and it moves on until it opens up light enough that it's able to get processed and pushed down through so that's how they're doing their size separation you should be able to see that a lot better from this angle right here not, not terrible. I'll try and take one from the other side. Woo! One! One! Green one! Ah! Green one! Look at that! Green one! Look at that! Okay. Awesome! Awesome! I'm gonna try and take one more little shot for you here so you can see this. Because it just, it's kind of subtle how it, how it happened. In fact, if you just look, and uh, I'm gonna just put my hand nearby her side. You see how close together the, the cables are down here. 
and then as they come across, they get wider and wider and wider. And then you can see down here, the cables, they went from like maybe a, a quarter or three eighths inch apart to um, over an inch apart. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> Woo! How about that? <laughs> Metabol. <laughs> Thank you. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, I could totally dig coming and being a plant manager or something like this. That would be so fun. Oh my gosh. That would just be so fun. Look, look how 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 interesting is it that that this is like a factory makes a lot of olives, it makes a lot of olive oil, and yet it is very much hands-on. It's very it, it's it's done in a way that it's kept in line with all the farmers. The farmers all have their own crops that come through. All of it's kept separated. All of that that um, old world love that feels so good to us because it is good, frankly. Um, is still there. It's just freaking awesome. Just awesome. Well, we're going to go buy some olives. Talk to you later.